Hi, I'm Nick Cave, visual artist uh, here speaking at the Smithsonian American Art Museum. The uh, first sound suit uh, came about in 92, and it was uh, with, in response to the Rodney King uh, incident. And, um, you know, it was a really, really difficult time for me. It was, a, I was really, you know, as a black, young black male, you know, I was just really questioning everything. And so, you know, feeling sort of uh, dismissed, discarded, viewed less than, and I was just trying to process that. And, you know, what does that mean? How does, you know, how does that sort of relate to who I am and what it is that I'm trying to do? And. You know, I found myself one day in the park and I looked down on the ground and there was this twig and I don't know, I just started collecting these twigs. I had no idea how they were going to be used, but then I sort of brought them back to the studio and started to build this object. Subconsciously, yes, I knew it was a garment of sort, but I was not thinking about it in that way. I was more or less sort of thinking about it as a form, as this sort of sculpture and sort of building this sort of surface. And then I realized I could put it on. And the moment I put it on and started to move, it made sound. I've made maybe 500, I don't know, maybe even more uh, of this particular sort of uh, form. Um, and why do I sort of continue uh, this sort of body of work? I, I think it's as simple as that these issues still continue to be relevant uh, in my life. At the end of the day, it's all about power and it's all about sort of, you know, standing up. You know, how do we sort of confront and stand up to something? The particular piece that's here at the museum, uh, you know, I was thinking about in terms of getting to the form was just ideas, ideas of power. And I started to think about the mitre hat form, the clan uniform, uh, the head of a missile, head of a condom. So I just put all of that together and that's how this form sort of came about. There's two parts of that piece that's really sort of relevant, and it's this sort of uh, like at the lower, I think it's the right hand side, there is this sort of doorly that looks like a pretzel that's somewhat large. You know, it's that kind of, of object that sort of determines how the rest of the piece is going to be sort of handled. So it's really about where do I place that to where that really becomes a real signifier within the rest of, of, of the uh, uh, development of the surface. And then also the sort of bottle cap doilies that are on the back of, of that particular piece. Um, and, you know, being able to collect a uh, sort of a collection of 20 of those. And that just offers a different kind of surface application. It sort of, it's almost sort of like uh, a form of body uh, uh, adornment and, and this sort of raised sort of, there's this sort of raised surface that sort of happens within, within that piece. I think when I looked at the piece today, I hadn't seen it in a long time. And it's always interesting to come to the museums and when you see a piece and, and you know, I looked at that particular doorly and thought that was the reason why this sort of happened. And so it's nice to be able to, to know the starting point within, um, a work and, and how that sort of dictates the how I'm going to sort of treat the rest of the surface.